Hello friends. I wanted to hop on here and answer some more questions that have been given to me. Skittles and Zoe and I are in Nebraska. Um, we're actually going to take this load, which is going to Pennsylvania, but we are taking it to Cedar Rapids, Iowa and dropping it because I'm going to be out of hours. Um, for those of you that don't understand, I work 70 hours a week driving this truck. That is a week. That is almost two weeks worth of working in one week that an average person does. So I am going to be out of hours. <laughs> that means I have done over almost 70 hours in five and a half days. So yeah, I'm tired. I'm extremely tired. You can tell by the rings under my eyes. Of course, my allergies are definitely um, playing a part with that. But the eye cream. The eye cream is one product that right now I would not be able to wear my contacts. Um, I had an issue about a month ago where my eye swelled up shut on the right side where I couldn't wear my contacts at all for nearly two weeks. But the eye cream done its job and it took the swelling out and I haven't had a problem with them swelling up so bad that I can't wear contacts. But anyway, I don't, don't want nobody to forget about the uh, September special where we got nine days I believe eight days something like that left in this month so ladies it is going and it's going well it's going quick the shades are selling out so if you haven't checked my website and you're thinking about it right now is the time to do it remember it's money-back guarantee and we don't test on animals in any form or fashion so yep I am here to answer some questions and one of them is how do you grow your eyelashes all right, number one thing, like I emphasize so much that beauty starts on the inside. Take your vitamins, drink plenty of water. Also, take the unique collagen. Hang on. The unique collagen. It comes in one little package, and it's a little shot. You just rip the pack top right here and just drink it one a day. This will help grow your hair, your nails. It helps for psoriasis, rosacea, so many skin problems. It helps with digestive problems. Ladies and gentlemen, collagen, one a day. And you can get it on a subscription. And if you get it on a subscription, <laughs> you get free shipping and you get 10% off on top of that. So check my website out, collagen is so important. Also. We have a lash serum you apply on your eyelashes every night before you go to bed. Now you have to be consistent with these products for you to see results. It's not just like a, a couple of days a week or a month and you quit. You've got to do it every day. Every day. It's a part of a good routine, a healthy routine. Every day. Okay, I got another question on here. Okay, Tammy out of Tennessee. She is wanting to know why I'm a vegetarian. Okay, it is a personal choice. I don't do it for any other reason. I don't do it for health purposes, even though there's great benefits to doing it. I decided to do it because I love animals. And I felt like, how can I justify loving animals if I eat them? So I decided one day to go meatless Monday and I didn't have no problem so I done it Tuesday and then Wednesday and then I decided let's just see how long I can keep this up and that's been nearly 12 years ago and I haven't eaten meat yet and yes your body will have to go through a transition your liver has to detox you may feel bad uh, about three I think it's about three weeks into it I started feeling a little bad um, but my body had to adjust. I had to flush all of that toxins out of my liver. And you'll never believe how many toxins are in meat products. You've got your good proteins and your bad proteins. Your good proteins are vegetables and nuts. Your bad proteins are animal products. Now, I'm not a vegan. I still do dairy and I still do eggs. But a cow didn't die to give the milk to make the butter and the cheese. A chicken didn't die to lay an egg. It's doing just exactly what God created it to do. And on top of that, in the book of Genesis, in the Bible, Adam and Eve did not eat meat before the fall. 
keep that in mind. Okay, another thing is, she also, Tammy also made a comment to the rest of this question that she believes in supporting farmers, so she will eat meat. I support farmers big time, probably more than she does, because all I eat is vegetables. So we all support farmers. I just choose not to do it in a term of eating meat. And when I say that, I don't do any meat, none so whatever, not fish, not nothing. Now, I did have to do some soul searching before I done the collagen because it is marina base. It's the closest thing to the natural collagen that your body produces. So it is or does have fish oil in it. That was really a struggle for me to justify that. But I'm glad I did it because I see a lot of great benefits. That's just the fish. That's not red meat, not white meat, just the oil. And yeah, I said I had to do a lot of soul searching, a lot of praying over it. And um, sometimes I do consider myself maybe being a little hypocrite on it. And it was, it was tough. It was tough. Okay, but that is that. <laughs> Okay, I have another question here from Sharon out of Missouri. She's wanting to know why is her makeup brushes seem to be stiff after she washes them? Okay, there is products on the market that are specifically for makeup brushes and sponges. Um, don't use regular soap. I don't use shampoo use a Pacific ingredient made for makeup brushes because if you don't your brushes will get brittle they will break off the bristles will fall out um, it's just and a lot, a lot of these brushes are not cheap a good brush can cost you a few pennies more like a few dollars uh, so yes take care of your brushes if you're going to invest money in them take care of them the products that you can get are like you can go to Ultra Beauty I don't know if Walmart carries any brush products, but I mean, I know they carry brushes, the cheaper brushes, but I don't know if they carry anything to clean them with. Go to Amazon. You can get great buys on Amazon as far as that goes. So yes, take care of your brushes and your sponges. You need to wash them at least once a week, if not twice a week. And um, it... <sighs> It is so important because if you don't clean your brushes, you're spreading bacteria on your face. And that is the one thing we try to avoid. Okay, and then I have another here from Marsha. Okay, that she is also out of Missouri. She is wanting to know more about the collagen. She's wanting to know how often to take the collagen. Again, this collagen is a one-a-day shot. That's all it is, just one a day. You can drink it right out of the pack. You can refrigerate it if you want to. You can leave it at room temperature. It doesn't matter. Some people say it's got a peachy taste. I think it's got an apricot apple or an apricot and peach taste to it to me. But everybody's taste buds and palate is different. But this is collagen get it you need it it's great for your health it's also good for joints I gotta say since I've been taking it my rheumatoid arthritis doesn't seem to be as bad even though I still have flares up with it occasionally but I do not take any medication for my rheumatoid arthritis I refuse to take the stuff that they try to put me on because the side effects to it are worse than the initial problem itself so why add to it I will not take it <laughs> Collagen is a great source, and I can't say enough about how good it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, get on the collagen. It's great. Okay, I've got another question here from Sharon, and she is out of New Mexico. <laughs> I'm glad to be seeing that I'm going that far. Okay, she is wanting to know, why do I use setting spray after primer? Okay, let me emphasize here. After I clean my face, I put my eye cream on, I let it set, and then I go in and set my face with the setting spray. I let it dry, then I go in with my primer and wait five minutes to let it set all over my face, five minutes. Then I go back in with the setting spray again. 
what it's doing is preparing the canvas. It's just like a painter painting a wall. He, pr he cleans the wall, he'll prime the wall. These are just products that you put on to help paint the face, lack of a better term. So that's the reason why I do it. And then when I get through with my makeup, I go in and set my uh, setting spray on again before I put my mascara on. I prefer to do that because I don't want to get my mascara wet. It's like you're defeating, defeating the purpose there. So that is my reasoning for that. Okay, I got another one here from Jody, and she is in Missouri. Another Missouri, that's great. <laughs> She's wanting to know what is my preference on the foundations, which they are on sale. They are on sale. If I have to choose, it's going to be the Serum Plus foundation. To me, because it's got so many great benefits. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's got vitamin E. It just go. The benefits just go on and on. It hydrates the face. My second choice would probably be the spray foundation, and then the BB Flawless. Uh, the stick foundation. I have ordered it, and it did not make it home or make it to the house before I left last time. So I can't really give you a honest opinion on that. So I have to put that in the last place. But again, it's the Hyronic, excuse me, Serum Plus foundation, and then the spray foundation, then the BB Flawless, and then I guess I'll do the stick foundation last. They're all great products. They're absolutely great products. And Skittles is whining, so I guess that tells me I need to hurry up. <laughs> okay, I have one more question here, and it is coming from... Okay, I lost it. Give me a minute here. I've done that one. I've done that one. I'm trying to choose ones here. And I'm trying not to make them all in a flattering form because I do get some brutal emails. I get some people that are downright mean. <laughs> and I'm about to read one here now. This is Tara. And she is out of Tennessee. And she wants to say, since I am so old, why am I doing this? <laughs> well, why not? Why not do it? Who puts an age limit on what you should do? Uh, it's just like going to the store and buying clothes. I hate when they expect you to go into a certain section and buy certain clothing because you're of a certain age. You know what? The good Lord gives me what I got, and he gives me the freedom to choose what to wear, what to do. And believe me, everything I do, I do in, in asking him. I should, how do I put that? Everything I do, I pray about it first. I ask for his guidance. There's no restrictions on age really for anything other than until you become an adult. Of course, you can't do things when you're young. You can't drive when you're 14. At least you're not supposed to. <laughs> so there's certain age limits like that, but there's no age limit on wearing makeup. There's no age limit on wearing your hair a certain way. There's no age limit on the type of clothing. You wear what makes you feel comfortable. You wear and put on your body what makes you feel you and be your best at it. So, hey, I don't know how old she is, but there'll come a time when these same questions will occur to her. And I hope she realizes there's no age limit. You can look good at 90. You can get look good at 20. There's no age limit. That's what's so great about it. There's no age limit on being the best you can be. So everybody be thankful, grateful, and blessed. Have a great day. Be bold. When you love the Lord, you can be bold. <laughs> All right. Have a great day. Later, everyone.